It is Boston College in the road grays taking on the Louisville Cardinals in the home whites and we are underway in the Yum Center and right away Nina Ricards corrals things for Louisville. They will be going left to right on your screen. Boston College going right to left. Starting lineup for the Cardinals. Familiar faces all around. Into this right corner, three ball is good. A great start for Kiki Jefferson. You really have to take care of the basketball. Oh yeah, both both of these teams' keys to the games are who can have who can limit their turnovers the most. Thirty-five minutes as well. Three ball from the right side, splash down. That was Taya Sidbury. Move has just been such a force in the women's game. Nice play there to get Nyla Harris free for a layup. And that's how the, the pass was bad. The first pass was bad. Should have been a turnover out of bounds, but Olivia Cochran stayed with the ball, and they got the two, two points. Three ball is good from Kayla Ivey. Todd pulls from the left side and got it. She can hit those in bunches. And Jai trying to go to work on Love. Nice move for the left hand. Little pump fake. Got Lily Love up in the air and went around her. And played a tough schedule. And as Daly has the shot clock dwindling, looking for options. Three ball is good. As we were talking about during the break, Jess, BC making Louisville do a lot of one-on-one -on -one breakdown dribbling. And as Taylor's three is no good, but Harris is there to clean it up. Out front here. This is Todd trying to get going in. Jai has been a nice addition off the bench tonight, and why not? Jefferson downhill again, and it's in one. Tempo to the rim. Just her long and lengthy steps she takes. Two dribbles. It's been frustrating in the half court set for BC quite a bit tonight, but that three just missed from Todd. Good effort, and one. Look at that effort from Wagner. And let me just say, Olivia Cochran is a strong player. So for Wagner to be able to rip that ball from her. A little bit more freedom in the second half. Not as much foul trouble. Taylor trying to find an avenue and does. There's a clean look for the point guard. Stand below who makes the layup there to make it back up to a 12-point lead for Louisville. Yeah, Jeff Walls wanted Curry to shoot that shot, but it does help that Love could knock it down. And Wagner again going hard to the basket. Curry. Nice move to step back into a jumper. Just her second made field goal of this ball game. Stan Belolu is wide open underneath the pass from Jefferson. Two points, six boards, four assists. That's a tough shot from Todd. Kiki dialed in. Look at this from Kiki Jefferson. Taking it the full length of the court for herself. Shrugged off three defenders. Sidbury three is good. And that's what, if you're Louisville, you don't want to do on defense is let Boston College get going again, shooting that three-point shot. Jefferson trying her best to prevent that. 55-0 against unranked ACC opponents since joining the league. 22-3 after a conference loss. It's a nice layup there from Lily Love. Njai has had a nice game tonight for Boston College, another freshman. Todd 
gets the shot off just in time to beat the shot clock. She's got 11. Nice pass by Jada Curry up to Alexa Mobley. And Boston College just couldn't get over that hump, but you have to give them credit. They, they battled and they're continuing to battle. Lily Love all the way to the rim. Tonight, one of the better players in the ACC, just four points tonight. The teammates were helping her for a little while there, but the foul trouble hurting. Everybody in the crowd yelling, give Henny the ball. And instead they leave Jada Curry <laughs> available open. for three. Down to 10 seconds to this one. Louisville is going to walk away from the Yum Center, a comfortable victor with a win over their visitors from Chestnut Hill. The final score, Louisville 88, Boston College 60.